Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome to the channel update news for February. Uh, it's been a pretty good month for the channel. Um, it's been a rough month for YouTube and kind of a rough month for confidence really. But I'm just trying to do whatever I can to try to make the channel a little bit more stand out. You know, really, really bring it out into the light and I'm proud of where it's going and I'm hopefully proud of where it's going to go. Um, I'm really liking uh, the Mugen update games that I get and I get going on. It's um, it's pretty rough on on YouTube right now for YouTube gaming. Um, it's uh, a lot of people are switching to Steam. There's a new change in the partner program policy that I'm not even really a part of, so I don't really have to worry about it very much. But you know, someday in the future, it might become a thing that I want to pay attention to, which. I did a lot of studying and a lot of, you know, uh, delving into sort of the sort of the issues of where all the platform is now. The new partner program, I believe, requirement is 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers, which my total amount of watch time for this session would be, uh, I think, just a little over 13 hours. So. <laughs> I'm only 3,986 or 85 hours short, I'm not sure. Only a couple hundred, two <laughs> thousand hours. No big deal. But, you know, I'm also about all over 980 some odd subscribers short. But it doesn't matter. What matters is that you, um, you live what you love. And I love to play video games. I love to make YouTube videos. I like making vlogs, I love making gaming videos, I'm not so sure about streaming, a lot of people are big into the YouTube streaming or Twitch streaming, uh, but there's also a lot of fail videos out there, like things that happen where people get swatted or you know, they have wardrobe malfunctions or they cuss on camera or they say something you know, uh, culturally insensitive, so I'm not so really big into streaming just yet. Plus, you know, I'm not like, you know, I'm, I'm the same age as some of the biggest YouTubers out there that there are right now. So, you know, uh, my, my time on the platform is probably going to be coming to a close in the next five years. But I really wanted to give it a shot and see what it was all about and see what I could really do. And, you know, worst comes to worst, it's a good hobby, it's fun to play, it's fun to do. I haven't made a dime on the platform, and I probably never will, but it's nice to have you guys here sticking around for the channel and helping support it, and just enjoy the videos. Just enjoy what we do and the fun that we have here. I'll always be Russ Robo, and I'll always be Russell, and I'll always try to be myself and be original, and do whatever I can. I did a lot of, um, sort of background investigating into... YouTubers that have come and gone, tried the platform and failed, had it going on good for a couple of years and then got stuck or got lost or lost their fire and just stopped playing the game. And I honestly don't intend to really ever do that because I just want to play to have fun and I, I really did. I'd be lying if I say I didn't want to make it rich. Everybody wants to make it rich. But, you know, even if I don't, even if I couldn't, it's it's fun to play. It's fun to do. It's, I, I like the idea of making videos myself and putting my own feeling into them. Twitch, like, there, there's differences between streaming and pre-made videos. I can't knock streaming because I see the appeal. I know exactly what the appeal is. And it's great. Imagine you have an audience of a few hundred thousand or a few million people. They can chat to you in real time and tell you, do this, don't do that, go down this corridor, use this item, it's better than that item. They can chat to you in real time and you can follow their advice. And they feel it's direct audience interaction as opposed to a video with 10,000 views and... 2,000 comments. You know you can't read all 2,000 of those comments. There's just no way. And most YouTubers really don't. They can't. 
you just don't have enough time in the day. Um, you don't have enough time in any day uploading two videos a day, every day. Uh, I can't even get one video a day uh, nowadays because of my job. But, you know, you got to work a full time in order to pay your bills. So I tried out for three videos a week, three to four, every now and again. I try to put out that good, excuse me, special video on Sunday if I can. I can't make a promise. Um, but I try to do my best, and I've been having a great time. And a lot of the videos, you know, some of them are pretty popular based on, you know, how small my channel is. Because if you think about it, if you can retain a 10% audience retention rate, then you're doing pretty good, even with a small channel. And with currently, as of the airing of this video, with 22 subscribers, on average, within maybe a week, my views get somewhere between 12 to 22, 12 to 25 views, and that's a good, you know, 50% audience retention rating. I don't know, I'm not an expert, maybe I'm wrong, but I just try to do my best and have fun. Sometimes I even do stuff that are, it's really dorky, you know, really nerdy, you know, like I put on the Naruto head, a headband to play Konoha Legends, and you know, some days, you know, I come home and you can tell when it's been a long day at work because I'm uploading a video right after work and I'm stuttering a lot or I just don't have that same spark or energy but I want to bring that spark to all of my videos. I wish I could go full time with it but unfortunately I don't believe that's ever going to be a factor. A lot of big names that played some popular games back in the day they played them scary games and screamed a lot and you know they're gods. Every video they put out is just god mode. It's, it's pure art. It's what I wish I could have done. But, you know, I started late. I just want to be good at what I do. I just want to keep trying to be entertaining, keep trying to be original, without stealing their content or re-uploading their content, because YouTube's big about um, get rid of, getting rid of what they call bad actors nowadays. And, you know, if I don't do my best, I could be seen as one of those bad actors. So, I just want to live what I love, which means I'm living in a way that makes it obvious that I'm doing something that I'm passionate about, as opposed to just putting out the most popular content in order to get views, or screenshots of, you know, alluring content to get views, like something that's explicit, you know. Uh, but another thing, Let's see, another update to the channel is I'm bringing back a game that I played a few months ago that was actually really fun called American Truck Simulator. It was actually a really good time. I put a lot of effort into the videos, into the subtitles that I made myself. Um, well, not necessarily the subtitles for what I was saying, but, you know, just some little inputs to things that were going on <laughs> in the current video. It was pretty funny. I had a good time. I wore a little cap. You know, I had the little uh, checkered shirt on. Um, I'm downloading the full game uh, as, a, as of this airing of this video right now. I'm downloading the full game. The footage that you saw earlier was actually the demo, and it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it a lot. I can't wait to go cross-country trucking with you. I'm not sure how YouTube's policies are going to affect uh, how I play it. I was thinking about playing it, um, you know, you know, having a couple of drinks. I'm afraid to even say that on the current status of what's going on in the channel, but I just, you know, I just want to play the game and have fun. Um, that's all there is to that. I'm going to finish up Naruto Konoha Legends. Uh, gonna keep going with that one. Uh, gotta get back to Fate. I wanna do some grinding on Fate and really return to it when there's something new to show. Cause it's a very old game. It's over 10 years old already. And it, it's just not gonna get the views. I wanna finish it up, work on the, um, work on the screenshots. And even if it doesn't get the views, you know, it's not necessarily always, always about the views. Sometimes it's just about the gameplay. Uh, necessarily, it's not what you... Remember that it's not what you play. It's how you play it and who you are. I watched a few months ago uh, one of my favorite playthroughs of all time, and it was funny as all get out. 
A man with about 18,000... No, <laughs> cut that. A man with about 18 million subscribers play a game that was literally about Texas... Uh, it was literally about stick figures in the Old West called West of Loathing. It was incredibly entertaining. So it's not about what you play. It's about who you are and how you play it. So hopefully someday in the future I can add more non-gaming content, more, I don't want to say educational content, but more comedy, uh, comedy related content, more, uh, more, more artistic stuff, more funny stuff, more action-packed, I, I don't know. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot of directions to go in your first year on YouTube. Um, I looked back recently, the last couple of days, uh, at one of my first uploads that I did when I tried to resurrect the channel, um, was Legend of Korra. The, I believe it was, uh, I shouldn't have done this video right after having a cup of coffee. Um, jittery is all get out. And, uh, Legend of Korra, the bending tournament. It was like six months ago. Uh, it's not actually doing that bad. Um, it was about six months ago, and I'm not all aware I thought I would be in six months, but, you know, the first year to two years on YouTube, I guess, are always the roughest, and I'll be lucky if I get a couple hundred, but I'll be glad to have them, and I'm glad to have you here. I'm just trying to do my best, and I, I want this video to be more positive. I want the channel to be more positive. I try to stay positive, and... People aren't always positive when rough stuff happens in their lives outside of the channel. They're not always as positive as they could be whenever, uh, you know, rough stuff happens on the channel. I can laugh and have fun and cut up as much as I want on any video. And I'll always be there to try to have fun. But, you know, sometimes you realize the harsh reality that you're not as talented as you thought you were. And it kind of hits you pretty hard. But I try to do my best for my friends and my family and, you know, people that the channel means something to. I've had, you know, I look back and it's already, even in six months, it's already got some good memories and stuff that I've done and things that I look back and actually makes me laugh still to this day. So I'll never be doing the charity live streams with hundreds of thousands of people. I'll never get to go on stage and sign autographs, meet the fans, but I'll go maybe someday to those conventions and meet, you know, other other people who are uh, talented. You know, meet other fans, other people's fans. Meet, just meet anybody. Just go anywhere. Do anything. I guess I've been kind of frustrated lately just um, working overnights, just putting boxes of product on shelves and it doesn't really feel it doesn't really make you feel like you you know you're doing anything of value sometimes I, I look back and I wonder you know what am I really doing that means anything to anybody you know because the channel is just for a few you know dozen people um, you know I work a like a part like I almost want to say part-time job but it's an hourly job and there's so many people working hourly jobs you know uh, it, it's fine, you know, you do what you can. And uh, I, I'm trying to figure out more about, more about technology, more about the way things like audio booths work, you know, how they put those, um, how they put those sticky backing audio uh, posters behind them. I, I don't, you, you, you know how they set up an audio booth. I'm trying to figure out about that. I'm trying to figure out about how green screens work. I really wanted to do um, the lightweight finals today, but unfortunately I'm all out of time, and I really need to get the um, channel update for February up because it's already almost the middle of the month, and there's no update for February. So, you know, going to try to keep doing good things with the channel. Going to go back to a little bit of American Truck Simulator, 
I'm going to keep doing Naruto Konoha Legends. If you haven't seen that yet, check it out. I'm not going to put the videos up in the four corners again because, you know, they're probably going to be about the same as they were last month. I'm going to keep trying to work with Fate, maybe finish it up this month, which is probably what I said last month. But I want to join on each of the ten levels, you know, 40s, 50s, up up above that. Uh, like I said last, last month, um, I'm not sure if I want to, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to continue Undertale. I'm stuck on Flowey, haven't been able to beat him yet, and I'm not really sure if anybody's interested in me even doing that. But I hate to leave it unfinished on the last episode. I don't even think I've actually done the proper, um, I don't even think I've done the proper pacifist storyline. Because I have zero kills and zero experience, but I haven't, like, done the proper interactions, like social interactions, with all of the characters. So, I don't know if I'll get the proper ending. But I'm just doing my best. Um, YouTube gaming isn't what it used to be ten years ago. It certainly isn't what it used to be five years ago. Or five, it certainly isn't what it was ten years ago. And it's not what it was five years ago. I can't just jump on any of the popular games that people are playing right now, you know. I'm not interested really in Fortnite. I mean, I know Fortnite's great. I know Monster Hunter's great. I know Dragon Ball Z Fighter is great. But how am I going to stand out from all the other, you know, people that are doing it? They're, they're better at it than me. They're better at it than I could be. I know I need that confidence to keep going, but I just, I want to be... I want to do what I know and what I understand. I feel like if people see me trying to ride that gravy train, if people see me trying to just, uh, you know, jump on that, jump on that bandwagon, then they'll, they'll feel like I'm just trying to ride a bandwagon, just trying to be popular for the sake of being popular. You know, they'll. I see people like that, with that have content like that on their channel and I choose not to subscribe because I don't feel like they're trying to change the platform for the better I feel like they're only in it for themselves I don't want that I wanted to try to do what I've seen other people do to try to push a positive message I can't even say positive correctly I wanted to try to push a positive message if I could, maybe education, because there's um, people that have, you know, made charity and giving their message. If I could push education in some way, or be educational but still make it fun, I would really like that. Um, in the future, maybe after a few years, maybe after I've gotten some more experience under my belt, I'll be able to step away from the gaming aspect and vlog aspect of YouTube because to be perfectly honest those are the easiest I don't know it's just like it's like spam you know it just comes out there you know no real I mean you, you there's a lot of people out there that put a lot of effort into their gaming videos and their vlog videos but I don't have the type of knowledge and experience required to make my video stand out from there's like that. Uh, there's going to be a lot of cutting in this one. But, um, yeah, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep doing what I do just for the fun of it. And I'm always going to be glad to have you here. You know, just for the sake of having fun, I guess. It's a good hobby. I'm proud of what I've done, and in the end, <laughs> I just want to take it easy, live what I love. Um, if I ever make a good video, I'll let you know. All right, everybody, that's all the time I have left for this episode. I hope you really enjoyed it. That's the channel update news for February, and until next time, take it easy, my friends.